Um, hello, welcome to the News Time Podcast. I'm your host for this week, Will Stats. Joining me today, his mother signed a permission slip saying he could be here, Hunter Rankin. Hello, I may have forged it. His parole officer signed a permission slip saying he could be here, Anthony Dorenza. Hello, uh, thank you, Chris, for letting me come. She just woke up from a 12-hour power nap, Isabel Roberts. It's sad because it's true. He has been awake for three days straight, Andy Cervelli. I know no sleep. <laughs> and uh, no amount of introductions could prepare you for Ren Ramsey. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about <laughs> me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So let's get into the news. Let's get into the let's news. Let's do let's it. Let's jump right on the news. Let's jump into it. So probably the biggest news story of the past week or so, Michael Cohen Ooh, gave a Michael. testimony to Congress. Um We've we've got some highlights here, and we're we're going to talk about it. Uh. <laughs> Roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure it's at the right spot. There I are no tapes. I stopped it where you told me to stop it, so that's all right. Then blame you. Yes, I will rectify. Oh, <laughs> 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 still lost. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We were in study mode, so we had it at one and a half speed because we want to just get as much. <laughs> Yeah, we actually know we, everything. We, we, speed so yes, you at home can understand. we are a professional podcast. <laughs> we can we edit. This is professional <laughs> content. You described for us to the best of your recollection, you were present, exactly what Mr. Stone said to Mr. Trump. He said, Mr. Trump, I just want to let you know that I just got off the phone with Julian Assange. And in a couple of days, there's going to be a massive dump. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I believe he said there will be a massive dump. Uh, Was he texting him on the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, He's like, I, brother. I have a feeling that Trump had to schedule his shifts, so uh, it makes sense so, that yeah. Dr. Stone would be planning that out for him in advance. See, I just think he wears adult diapers. I don't think he has control of his butthole anymore. I mean, where else are you going to? Election fraud is not Trump. It sounds like I a Trump know. thing to do. I would imagine that's where like ninety percent of his tweets are coming from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Whenever I think of like Trump going to the bathroom, it's always in like a porta potty. Is what I imagine. Oh <laughs> yeah, I would never imagine him in a clean bathroom. Yeah. The White House just has a porta potty built in now that's for him. That's They're like, mark on his it's tweet. it's in the Oval Office. It's just. Out of frame in all the pictures. <laughs> they don't allow Trump to use the nice bathroom because they're afraid his self tanner will get everywhere. <laughs> I mean, have you seen how much McDonald's he eats? He destroys those things for sure. But then, oh, but that, just would ex- that would explain why he's shitting on a schedule. Because if yeah, you yeah. that much, your colon is going to be blocked up for like weeks. <laughs> yeah. So Roger Stone is like anticipating, hey, there's gonna be a dump. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. He's like, I got the Miralax ready for you, already in the water bottle. You don't even know we've been slipping it into those fries. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. All right, I guess we'll have to go back. Continuing with the news. Yeah, yeah we only have four microphones, so it's a lot of fun. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My bad. Um, still think everything we said is valid. Yes. I will stand behind. It's going to really hurt the Clinton campaign. So Mr. Trump was aware of the up dump before. (laughs) 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 Everyone is aware. There's an itinerary. (laughs) It is sent over email. Oh, God. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, he stood to make hundreds of millions of dollars on the Moscow real estate project. I really thought he was going to say dumb, so I'm not (laughs) even kidding. (laughs) Could you imagine? (laughs) I mean, that would explain his work. Like, he just shits gold. Oh, my (laughs) gosh. It'd be a small loan of shitting gold. <laughs> but like you have to sift through a ton of shit. It's gotta to be. To the gold. Well, it's I mean, gold mining. but lucky for us, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> diarrhea. So really, you just gotta want, run it under Ooh. a faucet. <laughs> well, really, you, you gotta <laughs> think about it. This has gotta be hereditary because his dad gave him a small loan of a million dollars. I so thought you I, meant uh, the shitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
so it's definitely the shitting. <laughs> Probably. Where else would he get it? Eric from? definitely isn't. Oh no, Eric's no. not. He's like what Braun. Right? Yeah. And I would imagine John Jr. spits out his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda hot. <laughs> At the same time, we know, perhaps separately, that the Russians were engaged in our election. Wow. I thought he said gay. <laughs> so did I. I, I was think like, I oh, need shit. my hearing checked. We need to analyze this further because all of Russia might be gay. At the same time, we know, perhaps separately, that the Russians were engaged in our election. It's, oh. it, li- it sounds like Russians were gauged, but yeah. Either they're gay or they have gauges. Uh, both. Yeah. Why not both? <laughs> Is being gay like illegal in Russia though? Yeah. Oh yes, a hundred percent. Not great. Did you not see not Lady great. Gaga's <laughs> performance there where she had a flag? The security almost kicked her off the stage. I don't know if that was in Russia actually. It might have been somewhere else. It might have now been now that I'm thinking about Kentucky it. for all <laughs> <laughs> As someone who lives fifteen minutes away from Kentucky, I can confirm that that is probably true. All right, moving on. Back to Keller. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, we're back to Mr. D- Never mind, I'm not going to try to say that name. <laughs> Your Honor, the state who impeached Trump um, in response to his question, what's going on with Russia, still waiting for documents. And then that night at a rally, he would turn around and do his battle cry of no Russia, no collusion, no involvement with China. When was the last communication with President Trump? I'd really like to imagine. Trump's battle cry is just <laughs> a screeching. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, straight like, pterodactyl. Followed by him <laughs> shitting his pants because of the amount of effort put in. He's like, ah, and then he fucking just. Like, we're, we're, like he declares war, and uh, all you hear is. <laughs> I, I, and then there's just shit. Actually, it's probably like a baby cry because he just oh. reminds me of like an infant. With like tiny hands. With this- tiny hands and. Never mind. This probably isn't accurate, but I like to imagine it's R two D two like, <laughs> <laughs> and then shit everywhere. <laughs> the nuke button has been hit. There is shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> shit has hit the floor. <laughs> you think you think Trump gets anxiety poops? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, he has, he has to. to. Yeah, I think he oh has really? Anxiety blockage. And then oh just, shit. And that's, that's why they plan it. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's when it. Those jumps out because they're like, we're gonna hear a loud scream. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna shit his pants. Order the frosting. And then there's gonna be a flurry of tweets that just a make no flurry sense. of tweets. <laughs> 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 this is not sponsored. By McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's, please but sponsor it could us. Be. <laughs> we are fueled by fast food. <laughs> but it was a while ago. And what did he or his uh, agent communicate to you? Un- unfortunately, this topic is actually something that's being investigated right now by the Southern District of New York. And I've been asked by them not to discuss it, not to talk about these issues. How many times did... That, that one response, I don't have the date, but it was some time ago. <laughs> that's that literally like me. someone who has no idea how to answer a history question. <laughs> <laughs> When was World it? War One? Uh, some time ago, I'm but I'm not sure. sure. Can you not shade me in my entire <laughs> experience in a history class? <laughs> How? Quit reminding me of my art history midterm tomorrow. Oh. I have a midterm open on my computer at home. <laughs> the last. And I'm here. <laughs> the last history class I took was. The whatever the evolution of media with Wolfgang. That Wolfgang. That is the last history class I have taken. <laughs> Does that count as history? Yeah, because we <laughs> talked about the Tata plaque, and the that ta-ta. was a long time ago. Oh I'm not really ago. sure. I'm not really sure. Start a campaign. He did. He, I'm pretty sure he asked yeah. for dates on his exam. I don't know. But yeah. then Probably again, I wouldn't times. know because I uh, got C's on both of them. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember Hard Michael wow. McLuhan was not the correct answer. <laughs> Our entire class was pissed off, and me and like four other people straight up guessed on somebody else, and we got it right. And he was 
was like, well, there were four people who got it right, so clearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You were those <laughs> people? You those points, and everyone gave us a bad look. <laughs> yeah, I would be. Who is Marshall McLuhan? Yeah, Marshall what McLuhan. What the fuck did he do? <laughs> did you take this class? I did yeah. I pay attention? Did no. I sleep through it? Possibly. His voice is so angelic. It's and it, Actually, no, it's really monotone, and then he turns <laughs> off all the lights. And his PowerPoints are completely black with oh, with white that. text. How do you not fall asleep in that class? I sat like in between you two like every time, and I fell asleep every time. I think this sounds like a good time to introduce our sponsor, uh, the media school. <laughs> <laughs> Please come to the town hall tonight. <laughs> Tell us how mad you are with us. <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. Mm, yeah. And also, no. No, but also yeah. But also, yeah. <laughs> My arm keeps shaking. Computer is heavy. There's probably an easier way to do this, but no, I can't. Yeah, I can't now. put it down this way. Oh, okay, that's oh. why. We're experiencing Wait, technical can... difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. If you could see our setup, you would understand. Also, thanks to the media. Again. Again. Thanks, media. Again, four mics, six people. We're also trying to get one on a laptop, so. It's an experience. And I'm really weak. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a heavy computer. Mr. Trump asked you to threaten an individual or entity on your behalf. 50 times? More. 100 times? More. <laughs> <laughs> Is this deal or no deal? Like He's like, no, go higher. More. I want more. <laughs> Just who wants to be a, welcome to who like, wants yes. to be a millionaire? I, like, <laughs> I think they're talking about DMT, you know. Uh, Just <laughs> can, we, can we back it up to the beginning of that? <laughs> I like, want to hear that full exchange again. More, more. It's like uh, Mr. Krabs. That sounds like a good sample for a rap song. More, more. more. It sounds like more. the walk uh, pedestrian sign. It sounds like wait. Wait, <laughs> wait. It sounds walk. like she's going to end the thing and be like, would you say over 9,000? <laughs> <laughs> How many times did Mr. Trump ask you to threaten an individual or entity on his behalf? 50 times? More. 100 times? More. 200 times? More. More. Oh, shit. 500 times? More. More. Not the president. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just end it. How many times? Uh, over he said, never know. he said approximately 500. He said that would be in the ballpark. He, 500 times. He, he's threatened 500, essentially people. 500 times. Or maybe not 500 different individuals. Okay. It could be more. Orange. Just Orange. Rick down the street got threatened like 400 <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, 500 ghosts. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm here well, to it also could just be a whole again. business. So it could be more than 500 people if he did a whole ass business. He's like <laughs> No, he's a tiny little. How tall is Donald Trump? Donald like Trump four. is tall. Well, that's Michael four Cohen ten. probably Michael is. Michael Cohen's like. How scary can you be to have someone Donald threaten Trump on behalf of you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he's six three. Wait, I changed my entire outlook on him. <laughs> what about Michael Cohen? He's kind of hot. Because oh. he's sending the short one to go. <laughs> I pulled up Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't even type in height. I typed in his name completely spelled wrong. It says Mikhail Cohen. <laughs> oh, I know. It's Russian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Obviously. I typed in age. <laughs> Man. Isabel will no longer be allowed to be there. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm taking really rigorous courses here. <laughs> Not in English. <laughs> <laughs> or history. Or history. <laughs> Am I even taking classes? I, I might just be showing up I for places. Are you to the camera? Pay tuition so I can use this podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's Jewish. I think I like him. Oh wait, that was obvious. <laughs> it doesn't say his height. God damn it! I'm what really. I'm gonna, gonna, height. Oh my gosh, he's six one. Oh, he's two oh, inches wow. below. Damn. But also, he's over six foot, so he can like <laughs> get it. Michael Cohen, if you're out if you, there. I like also, to say he's a nice 5'13". <laughs> Michael Cohen, before you go to prison. They don't have this podcast in jail. <laughs> As torture. <laughs> this is what they play on loop to torture them with, just spilling like government secrets at Guantanamo Bay. It's just Michael Cohen, though. This is the only torture. Just the here. parts with Michael Cohen. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, I get it. <laughs> Or 
what? Yes. <laughs> I think we should place. rewind. <laughs> it must have been. Student or his company ever inflate assets or revenue? No, I think that's just no, what he does. Asking, did he ever inflate? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just his his southern drawl. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I'm from southern Ohio. I don't get it. Yes. Did the president ever? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Just, yeah. I could answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever inflated his things? Yes. Wait, is that to mean that he uses yeah. like a penis enlarger pump? Oh, uh, ooh. <laughs> Wait, does he have a Swedish model? Why do you know the different models? <laughs> it's an Austin Powers reference. Oh, it is. sorry. Brought to you by the meeting. It's cool. <laughs> 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 and now for something completely different. Okay. By inflated assets or revenue. Yes. So let me make sure. Yes. 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 Oh, wait, let's go back to Wikipedia. Yes. So let me make sure I. <laughs> so this is Mr. Chairman Cumming. <laughs> that sounds exactly <laughs> like how you think it is. Hey. Nice. Yeah. Donald Trump wrote to me. We have a out of his personal account, while he was serving as president of the United States of America, to reimburse you for hush money payments to Ms. Clifford. Is that what you are telling the American people today? Yes, Mr. Chairman. What kind of personalized check do you think Trump has? Like, what theme? I think it's like a cartoon. Dicks. Or well, yeah. sadly, the check that they showed on display was plain, but I think that's his presidential check and. I think he has a personal checkbook, and I don't think it's cartoon. No, it's no, it's Garfield. Hello Kitty. It's Ant Garfield. Man. It's Garfield. I was really thinking like just a straight porn shot. No, oh. I'm really because that seems for up his alley. Here. Like that. He's Donald Trump. He probably can get one. Probably check with his face on it. Ew. Wow. No. Okay. Oh. More than like I would be less than surprised actually if he was just his face in the middle, thumbs up either side. <laughs> With his You're scary little like right beady eyes. <laughs> That's a like the same well, expression he was making when he was showing off all the fast food for. <laughs> right. But also, I would bet you that if he is doing a thumbs up in it, it's got his hands like enlarged. Yes. <laughs> to, to, to hide the, the fact that he has baby hands. I think I have bigger hands than him. Probably. Like, I'm not even trying to flex on my hand <laughs> size, but. Do you remember? Like oh hello Mike, <laughs> do you remember those like um when you would be like in elementary school and you draw like balls <laughs> on the thing so when you flipped it it was like a little stop motion animation. I imagine oh. his checkbook is one of those, but yeah. it's like him <laughs> giving the thumbs up or it's straight hentai. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just you flip, flip through it and it's the book. entire hentai scene. Mm -hmm. And every time he, I don't want to continue. That's that. Never mind. Checkbook. I don't want to think about the special effect sounds. It sounds like you've already put a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I had all this time while you were talking about everything else to think about it, and I'm not happy about Racking it. Racking your brain with hentai. You're like, okay, how could this work? I've got to think back to, like, last week. What was it? <laughs> okay. Let's continue. President directed <laughs> criminal conspiracy a financial fraud. Is that your testimony today? Yes. Who is speaking right now? Is it still Cohen? No, I think it's no, still Cummings. Cummings. No. Like no. Cummings said Cummings. erected. No. No, no, it, did, it doesn't have a person. It's just. Oh. Then they've already been yeah, introduced. Oh, it's the shot of Cohen? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, who fucking edited Donald this Trump picture? Can we all of them? Out of his personal account, while he was serving as president that is of the very United clearly States Elijah Cummings. of America, <laughs> to reimburse you for hush money payments to Ms. Clifford. Is that what you are telling the American people today? Yes, Mr. Chairman. The president directed yeah, the transaction as part of a criminal conspiracy of financial fraud. Is that your testimony today? Yes. So the president not only knew about the payments, he knew and helped to hide the payments and reimburse the payments. Yeah, we discussed that everything had to go through Mr. Trump and had to be approved by Mr. Trump. Everything was done with the knowledge and at the direction of 
Trump. Trump. Every. <laughs> no, we. His job at some organization is to protect Mr. Trump. Every day, most of us knew we were coming in and we were going to lie for him on something. And that became the norm. And that's exactly what's happening right now in, in this country. And it's exactly what's happening here in government, sir. It honestly sounded like he was writing an essay. He just said the same thing like three different times in different ways. He's like, we came in every day ready to lie. Every day we lied for Trump and we knew that was a thing. We lied for Trump every single day at work <laughs> is what he just said. <laughs> Gotta hit that word limit. But when you call Donald Trump a key, Call yourself. A fool. <laughs> <laughs> True. A fool. What's the best response to that, though? What would you call yourself? Michael Cohen. Uh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome. A good person. <laughs> I still believe I'm a good person at the end of all it this. It says right here, She's Michael Cohen. Cohen. <laughs> God damn legend. <laughs> It is. No, it's not. He wanted to work in the White House. Oh, no, damn. sir. He didn't get brought to the dance. So now I was extremely proud to be a personal attorney to the president. Can we talk about how he's talking like I'm a. P -p 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 That's pissing me off. He literally is just going. P -p 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 -p. I was a personal. P -p 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 I can't. I feel attacked. <laughs> you should. Of the United listen. Proud you don't get persecuted. Personal attorney. President of the United States of America. I think he's just Today too close to the mic, and like they don't have a pop filter on it or oh, something. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to swallow it. Obviously, they didn't have a media student Ooh. from Ohio <laughs> University to do their audio. Who's asking the questions here? Did they fill them this time? Um, Was it yeah. Jim Jordan? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, obviously. <laughs> God, what a fucking moron this man. <laughs> Whenever I see him, I just think of Bill Hader. As him on SNL <laughs> and then just being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Throwing a fit. All right. Moving on. Donate yes. any further proceeds to book deals, to film reviews, to charity. No. No. No, no, no book no deals. No, we've heard no book deals. We're not allowed to sell books. He was talking about book deals or films. We have technology. <laughs> no, we can only watch it once. Today she commit to donate any further proceeds to book deals, to oh. film reviews, to charity. No. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the way fine. that he said it though, credit. he was like, no. No. Happy dumb day for him. Right, Mrs. Miller. Yes. comments about the, the president that Miss Patton doesn't agree with. In fact, it has to do with your claim of racism. She says that there is no way that she would work for for an individual who was racist. How do you reconcile the two of those? As neither should I, as the son of a Holocaust survivor. If, if this day... I don't understand where that guy was like, I'm on my high horse up here because I have a black woman standing Literally. <laughs> That there <laughs> all of the dumb shit I'm about to ask you. He's also like, Trump is not a racist. He had a black woman working for him. That doesn't mean you're not that a racist. Yeah, that doesn't mean you're not a racist. I don't, that point will never, ever make sense to me. Not. When people are like, but he, he the, talks to black people. He acknowledges that they exist. It's like, like yeah. Have a black friend. Literally. <laughs> Uh, my friends are black. I listen to rap music, so like, <laughs> so I'm definitely not racist, and I'm also allowed to say the N word. I liked Black Panther, so it's fine. <laughs> and um, we're back to our favorite man, Mr. Jordan. Ooh. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, consciousness of wrongdoing is fleeting. Remorse is minimal. It is 
his instinct is to blame others and blame others as cause. There's only one wrong with that statement. His remorse is non-existent. Mr. Jordan, that's, that's, not, that's not what I said. Control. And you know that that's not what that's I said. What I said, you. I pled guilty, that's and I take responsibility. This audio is reminding me of the women tell all from The Bachelor last night where they were all just screaming over each other. <laughs> but this time it's just grown men lightly shouting over each other. <laughs> okay. Responsibility for my actions. Shame on you, Mr. Jordan. I just find it interesting, sir, that between yourself and your colleagues, that not one question so far since I'm here has been asked about President Trump. That's actually why I thought I was coming today. You're a pathological liar. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pathological liar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Too close to home. Um, I feel like I need to clarify. I'm not calling my mom a pathological liar because the guilt that just went through my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, You're sorry. a pathological liar. <laughs> I think he went to school. No. That sounds like one of those responses that you're like, but mom, he keeps lying. What should I say to him? She's like, well, just tell him he's a pathological liar. <laughs> and then he could not execute. He could <laughs> not. He's like, you're a patho. Patho. Sound it out. Sound it out. <laughs> pathological liar. Oh, shit. What the I just left of this video. Uh, like a minute. Like a minute. Yeah. Is this your job? I mean, we got 15 minutes left in the room, so. Okay, so no. <laughs> yeah. So no. So that's the right, so great segue now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we. And now we're moving on. Speaking like, of uh, hush money payments, <laughs> how much do you think Stormy Daniels is worth? Ooh. At Ooh. least five dollars. I'm gonna raise her to seven. Is this Price is Right? <laughs> yeah, we will be playing by Price is Right rules. Okay. So if you go over, you lose, but. You're under. You're you're still in the running. I'm Most this one wins. I'm gonna oh go well, can I change my answer? She went too above me. Those are the rules. Fuck! I didn't want to go first. Okay. Fuck! Okay, can I'll I go, go last next time? I'll go with uh, five hundred thousand. Andy, this bastard. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, we'll go six fifty grand. Five hundred thousand and one. <laughs> I should take the safe answer and go 650001 but I'm going to go with 750k. Oh, you are the closest. 2 million. Now, uh, I'd like Holy to, shit. I'd like to clarify that all of these uh, celebrity net worths have been found on the website celeb net worth. And, uh, <laughs> 100% correct. true. I mean, to be but fair, according to celeb net worth, Stormy Daniels is worth 2 million dollars. Okay. To be yeah. fair, like Emma Chamberlain is worth like a million dollars. And all she does is just make YouTube videos. So I could well, see how well, okay, I could so see how with all the press one. about Trump, she could be worth more. This is off a lot of people. How much is Kylie Jenner worth according to Celeb Net Worth? Oh fuck! I just read this earlier. Is it she? She's definitely. She's first. a. We do oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I get to go last. We'll just go over that. reverse. Go ahead. Five dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna say like three million. Are low balling so I much. really want to say three well, million and two, but I'm gonna say sixteen million. Well, jokes on you. She's the first self-made billionaire. Except she's <laughs> <not>. <laughs> There's no such thing as a self-made billionaire. <laughs> that, was, that was the big I'm just controversy. Kidding. Yeah, she's not actually self-made. self-made but yeah, that self-made was the thing people were pissed yeah. about. But what celeb net worth went out of their way to point out was that she's not actually worth a billion dollars. Wait, is she really her. not? No, they claim that she's worth three hundred to four hundred million dollars. Damn. But her company is worth. Has, well, the way that it's like between her stock value and that kind of stuff. It's technically worth a billion dollars if you were to sell it. So and she's all not really a billionaire. Up. Yeah, she's technically not <gasps> a billionaire. The T. Yeah. Um, real news, people. So I guess jokes on me. I was wrong. <laughs> well, let's get back into into porno people. Ooh, yes. Ron Jeremy. Oh. Ron Jeremy's net worth. Who is that? Oh my gosh. The the Ron Jeremy. The Godfather of porn. Oh, I've literally never watched porn. <laughs> I don't know Good what for porn you. is. Please clarify. <laughs> okay. What's porn? I know what porn is. Out of this one. Okay, There's listen. I... Right <laughs> so you I know what porn that's is. A, that's a lie. No, my good Christian mother's going to listen to 
never heard the word porn before. <laughs> but you've heard of hentai. Never I can't mind. wait for Let's your continue. mother to pull that John up. Jeremy is worth how much? Somebody guess. 50 bucks. Uh, I'm going to say like seven grand, 700 grand. I feel like he invested his, his money wisely, and I'm going to go with 125000 I'm going to say a mil. I'm going to say two mil. God damn. Two mil would be the closest. Ron Jeremy really? is supposedly worth six million dollars. Damn. Ooh, all it right. Up. Wait, the, the two girls who, <laughs> who didn't know who he was. I don't know who he is. Oh, this we're, we're just lowballing it because we're right. really bad. Price is right. How would we like to go next? Uh, more uh, some politicians or actors? Politicians. Politicians. Yeah, politicians. politicians. Okay, so who is worth more between George W. Bush and Barack Obama? We're changing the rules a little bit. Oh. Uh, you can guess at their value as well. Oh, my God, I love who do you think is worth Barack more? Barack Jeff. Obama only because I love him more. I no, want it to be Barack definitely Obama, Bush. But it's definitely Bush. I'm guessing Barack. I'm going to say Bush blew his money on Coke, so it's Barack. Oh, trick question. They are both worth $40 million. But yeah. according That's to someone's net worth, so is Michelle Obama. Yeah. So I would imagine that their net worth is a combined thing, thing. Like the way that they have it. Right? Damn. But if Michelle Obama is worth forty million on her own, god damn it, good for her. <laughs> I love how, my queen. How, how, how much, much is Jeb think, worth? That's what I was gonna say. I don't have no Jeb, Jeb I'm going to Florida for spring dollars. break, and if I don't see Jeb, I'm going <laughs> yeah. to be pissed. He's worth three dollars <laughs> at a sack of corn chips. <laughs> mm, I love sack. I went to oh, Israel and I was told I was worth Jeb's five goat. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're worth more goat than Jeb Bush. Yeah, I'm worth more goat than Jeb Bush, according to the Israeli men I met. When I was a sophomore in high school. Wow. So hopefully it's gone up since then, because I think I've blown up since then. So I don't know. But no one can tell, because we're a podcast. <laughs> yep, you guys don't know what I look like, so. And ah. you never will. Sponsored by the OU Media School. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do we want to take bets on how much Jeb is worth? Oh, uh, yeah. Who, what are we betting? Billionaire. Ooh. Yes, I'm he guessing, should be. I'm guessing half a billion. Holy cow! I mean, wow. Oh, I'm saying Jeb's like twenty million. Uh, I'm keeping my the man's Yeah, I like. I I'm budget. gonna say three goat. Maybe like two. Okay, points. Jeb is uh, apparently worth forty million. Wow. Damn. The same as Barack. So, so that's he, he should a little have more. more than three goat. But he is the only person I'm okay with being a billionaire. <laughs> it's all. Fun. Jeb deserves to However, be However, a stack of corn chips? <laughs> I take it. There's no such thing as a billionaire who made a billion dollars without exploiting people. So, there you go. New topic. Well in the socialist who did, corner. That, that's, but who Jeb is Jeb? the only one that I want to be a billionaire because he's earned it. Who did he is Jeb the lone exploit? one. He's earned it? Yes. Well, that's all I got for you. Well, I, all right. Okay. And that was celebrity it. something. But, Ooh, with with please... Back. Please clap. Yes. Please yeah. Clap. Please clap. That's the reason he's worth a billion dollars is because yeah. he asked us to clap. <laughs> okay. So I got a story for y'all. Ooh. So there was this spring training game for baseball that I was listening to on the radio. And let me tell you, this ump's strike zone was so fucking bad. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was prepared to drive out to Arizona, and I started to do so. Um, he was he was just calling balls and strikes like it was nothing. Like ball, ball, strike, 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 ball, strike, ball, strike, ball, strike, 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 ball, strike, ball. Like no consistency. Like it sounds like the same pitch each time, and he's just making it up as he goes. So I'm on my way to Columbus, and this dude he calls a strike, and it should not have been a strike. So I gun it. I'm on my way to the airport. I'm going to fly to Arizona to kick this dude's ass because someone needs to teach him how to call balls and strikes. Um, so I'm waiting. I got my ticket. I'm ready to get on my flight. And uh, the game ends. And now I don't know what to do. No shit. Because, like, <laughs> who was? Honestly, I forget. I was just so angry at the strikes and the balls and the strikes and the who balls. Are, who were the teams playing? I think the Giants were one of them. I'm not sure. Why were you so was passionate? High game? Was it the Little League Giants? May, may, maybe. Why are you? Why were you so passionate? 
Be- because sports matter. Do they? Yes. <laughs> our sources say no. <laughs> <laughs> the sources aren't me and Ren. <laughs> We've made up our minds. <laughs> but, but you don't get it. He was just... <laughs> the strike zone is the most important part of the game. And he was getting it wrong. What was his name? I don't know. They said it before I was listening. So Jeb Bush. <laughs> Jeb would never this do is such a thing. brought to you by being faster than Hunter at being funny. Thank Jeb you. would never Bazinga. do such <laughs> no. a thing. TM. <laughs> Jeb would get every call right because he is Jeb. And then he would ask the audience to clap for him and they would do so. Imagine at a baseball game, hits a ball, home run. Everybody clap. <laughs> no, it's like instead of clapping, they do it like it's poetry, so they all snap in the stands. So I would feel left out because I can't snap. Okay, you don't have to show. No, Andy just started showing off. He's like clapping with it. Fuck off. Yeah, that is bizarre. I get it. I'm not talented. <laughs> Stop. Do you, do you, if you think that Jeb got every call right, what do you call his run for president? <laughs> A strike. The beginning. <laughs> the, I honestly feel like that was more like a horse walk where he got hit with the ball. <laughs> Jeb was just like, get the fuck away from the plate. Jeb was the hero that we deserve, but he was not the one that we needed right now. <laughs> just wait for this next election. He's going to primary the shit out of Trump and then restore order to the world. <laughs> Jeb. Jeb. This is brought to you by Jeb 2020. And the media school. The media school endorses Jeb. Uh, Are we legally allowed to say that? I don't believe we're allowed to say that. It's fine. We'll just put like we'll fix it in Jeb, the Jeb, Jeb, Jeb. We'll bleep uh, it out. <laughs> Speaking of the post. Oh. oh, that was a really good Yeah, we were thing. recently stood up by Chuck Greenlee. The Chuck Greenlee. Like seven times. Um, yeah. It he was, promised us gummy sharks, man. He still hasn't responded to us, right? No. Isn't he supposed to be coming okay, so to our meeting? Here, here, all we wanted to yeah, do was technically. have Chuck come to a meeting, and then we would discuss doing a video with him. And he was like, yeah, I'll do it. And then he blew us off once. And we were like, okay, Chuck, you seem like a nice enough guy that we'll give you a second chance. Like, it sounded like he had, twice. like... <sighs> then he did it again. And I think he did it four times before we were like, you know what, Chuck? We've had enough. And so we're going to flame you on Twitter. But, 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 we only flamed him because he said we could. Yeah, We've he gave us permission. Out. I don't think we have, but we need to tweet out a screenshot of him saying, oh, yeah. you have my permission to flame me. Because we we're should. saying it now, and it sounds like truth, but if we tweet out our DMs, <laughs> which we totally will, because we are, we don't care. We have <laughs> all the in the world about the way that we text. <laughs> this is a he also, he promised us candy, and I think that's why I'm most upset. Maybe he couldn't get the. Maybe he couldn't (laughs) bring the Garmy sharks in time, and he got insecure about not bringing candy, so he just didn't show up. I would have rather him shown up (laughs) without the candy. I wouldn't. To just blow us off again, and then totally ignore. Yeah, he's ghosting us. He's ghosting us. He's straight up ghosting us. (laughs) Which is why, uh, Chuck, if you're out there, if you're listening, you will be cast as Satan. (laughs) Whether you want it or not. Even if you're not in it, we will have a stunt double. (laughs) (laughs) And his name, yeah. His name will be Chuck Greenlee as (laughs) Staten. Again, am I even enrolled in this school? (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. I I have a pretty good GPA. Uh, Yeah. Two. We got anything else to add? I thought we have just till seven. No, until 645. Well, no Thanks one's even no one's even out out there, so. Yeah. Yeah, but they might show up. Let's hear some let's hear some elevator pitches. Oh, I'm ready. Just pretend I'm walking to the Shark Tank right now. I have some uh, pitches for you guys. But, uh, are we the sharks? Yeah, you're the sharks. Yeah, we're the sharks. Can we be the sharks that are together? Yes. Okay. Of course. Ren and I are a singular shark. We are. I was gonna make a joke, but I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> okay, sharks. That was a good one. Um, I'm here to offer you five percent. 10. 7.5. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the idea is fanny pack choker. So I'm in. <laughs> We're in. Around, you're emo. You need a place to put your stuff. Fanny pack choker. 
Okay, uh, can we have 50%? Uh, what's your business model? Um, I don't care. I'm going to uh, start <laughs> from the bottom, and then I'm going to get there. 50% now. We, we, we want it. We want it. Out of choker material, so like it has that kind of stretch to it. Or no, well, all chokers are different. Do you have a prototype with you that we can uh, see? I would consider a choker the ones with the stretch. Nope, they're all oh, different. No. It's like it's I have canvas. metal chokers. It's, it's canvas. It's, it's canvas. Wait, There's that's kind of sexy. I mean, can some people. Can I get it in black leather? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the main color. Okay. It's not like, yeah, right, now I'm on. Yep. Okay. No, this is, Ren and I are getting it. Fuck off. This is ours. We've been calling it since he walked through the door. We saw his potential. We said 10%. <laughs> yeah. I will and give you $2 for 100% of your company. I take it. I think I, I have a penny. No, what the fuck? Sorry, uh. I yeah. hope your business was not inflamed, so when they call the cops because they get fired. I don't care. The I want <laughs> neck chokers. Well, too bad. Buy your own. Oh, fanny pack chokers. Yeah, neck chokers right. are adorable. Yeah. Though. I, I nope. would just like choke her. <laughs> I would like to be choked like to, to death to immediately. Like Thank you. Can your service just have someone follow me around and choke me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That's part of the package. That'd be kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry, Mom. Please don't listen to this. <laughs> We mean not in a sexy way, just in a deaf way. Oh. I'm trying to die. <laughs> I, okay. yeah, I meant. Right. Yeah, no, definitely. Let's, uh, I don't okay. know if we have a ton of time left, so I'll just do uh, one of the other ones I came up with, and then we can end it there, and I can do more next time. Ooh. But, uh, I Giving a cliffhanger. Idea of, oh, yeah, I'm offering you uh, 6% of this business. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm uh, actually pairing up with Marvel for this one. Oh, and, uh, oh ambitious. It's called Wakanda. Okay. Now hear me out. Here. <laughs> they're condoms, Is that racist? They're condoms made of vibranium. Kids stand no chance. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm in. Do you have a prototype? Wait, but what about? Uh, not on me. Would that? Would that? <laughs> <laughs> would that kill a woman if it was inside of her? Yes. Only one way. We haven't <laughs> tested it yet, so it's kind of like. Yeah, how does how does vibranium how? react? <laughs> the also, how do you test it? Um, like, are you willing to kill a real so woman? I mean, you know, science is a give and take. No. Thing. <laughs> you kind of need to make advancements. Hunter, let me stop you right there. I will give you $5 to never make this. That's a hard bargain. I'll give you 6 to make it. Ooh. I'll give you 10 to make it. Ooh. Yeah. I'll give you 11 to in. not make it. The opposite. I thought we were Oh, wait, we're together. I guess I'm giving you 11 to make it. I'm raising our own thing. Okay. I'll give you 12 to not make it. I'll give you 13 to not make it. I'll give you 14 to not make it. I'll give you 15 it. to make it. Oh, I will give you all the money in the world if you can make it because vibranium doesn't exist. Shh. Quit ruining it. Stanley, your dad. <laughs> oh, my God. Won. And on that note, that brings us to the end of the podcast. Thank you guys for uh, joining us this week. Do you guys have anything else to say? I'm just really sad that we can't do fuck fuck fuck. I'm going to go uh, not sleep some more. I had a great list. Good. Oh, yeah. I think I need to go. My parole officer's asking. <laughs> yeah. My I mom's kind of like calling me, and I... <laughs> it's blowing up my phone. Yeah. I, just <laughs> I need to go back to bed. I take stress naps, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 12 hours at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That we'll does it for this week. week. Yeah. Fuck see ya. Yeah. Bye, sisters. Is that copyright? <laughs> oh, fuck. James, James Charles. <laughs> James Charles, <laughs> James Charles yeah. don't come for me. All I right. think his name is also copyrighted.